telling us this is a big one. Yep, Canucks. Good, good for him, man. Ilya Mikheyev to the Vancouver Canucks, four years, four point seven five million. This dude was. We talked about Ilya Lavushkin being where offense goes to die. Mm-hmm. Ilya Mikheyev was where offense went to die until this past season. So I can walk you through his journey a little bit, Vancouver Canucks fans, uh, to help you out. So he signs, he, he's with Avangard Omsk uh, of the KHL, he signs a deal with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, no one in Toronto knows who this guy is. He's an undrafted guy out of Russia. No one knows who he is. The first picture we see of this guy is he's outside of a breakfast restaurant that's like next to the Leafs practice facility with Mike Babcock. And they're talking about putting on, putting this unknown on the top line. None of us understand it. He scores in his first game. uh, And you know what? He's actually pretty good. And he was getting better and he was figuring it out. And we saw how fast he was, but we saw that he was slowly learning to put together the offensive part of his game. Then disaster strikes. In a game in New Jersey uh, where he actually scored, I believe, an errant skate comes up, cuts his wrist, and his season was done. Or at least it would have been had it not been paused uh, by COVID. Uh, There's his agent, Dan Milstein, with with a legendary (laughs) Photoshop. Dan, (laughs) what are you doing? Nice. (laughs) Nice. Oh, that's terrible. Good oh, for Dan buddy. Milstein, though. 4.75 for four years. That's not a bad job by him. Oh, no, he's job. he's having a great day. Uh, so Ilya Mikheyev, he was really learning to put it together. Um, you know, scored in the warm-up game, but then had zero points in five games in the bubble. So a lot of Leaf fans were super hyped on this guy heading into last season. He did not put it together at all. Seven goals, and I can tell you for a fact, most of them were by accident. Ten assists for 17 points in 54 games, and in the seven playoff games against the Habs, again, zero points. So this guy is where offense goes to die. This season, he's heading in uh, to his last preseason game, gets hurt. Nightmare. Nightmare. The guy comes back, and a, 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 a switch flipped and he couldn't stop scoring. He could not stop. He had 21 goals far exceeding his career total of 15 to that point, 21 goals, 11 assists for 32 points in 53 games. He was a good contributor in the Tampa series, finally putting up his first playoff points, two goals, two assists uh, for four points in seven games. Uh, he can keep up with Connor McDavid. We know that for a fact, uh, when it comes to skating in terms of straightaway skaters, I'm not talking about, you know, first couple strides or, or whatever, uh, you know, going around the net. I'm talking about Northwest skaters. Ilya McKayev is one of the best in the league. He's one of the trickiest uh, penalty killers in the league. He's going to be an X factor for the Vancouver Canucks for that price tag, probably on their second line. But if you have to demote him to your third, you can. But I, I think the reason he signed in Vancouver, because he actually did request a trade from the Leafs at one point, and they just straight up told him no, uh, is he wanted a top six role. So I, on top of the money, he's going to get that in Vancouver. Good for him. We also got a couple of 